thanks for joining us. We have a couple people on our team here, and Maida's going to show us a couple things that she's been working on, and we'll do some Q&A here at the end. So Maida, how about if I turn the time over to you and you show us what you got? Sure, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to start sharing some updates that we have made in IDX Salons, and this is for IDX Broker. The first thing that I want to share with you is that we added two new webhook endpoints. Uh, you can find them on this link and I'm going to show you, but one of the endpoints is uh, to be able to delete an IDX broker lead on high level. And the other one is to assign a saved link to an existing link, to an existing lead, I'm sorry. I'm going to show you an example of this last endpoint. And okay, but first I would like to show you uh, just a quick overview of how this look. For example, to delete an IDX broker lead, uh, you only need like to add a trigger. It can be a tag or something else. And the webhook would look something like this. So it's really simple. You only need like to add a trigger and this URL that we're providing in this IDX add-ons um, URL, and you can customize the workflow as you want. And in this particular webhook URL, it's important to notice that uh, this action can be undone. So uh, if you delete an IDX lead, it, you can recover it, it's already deleted. And also that the activity from the lead connector dashboard is also going to be removed. So it's important to let you know this. And related to the how to assign a saved link to an existing IDX lead, it's also very similar. You need also to add a trigger. It can be a tag, it can be something else. Uh, I want to. Sh I will show you uh, one example using tags, but this is for existing IDX leads. And once I show you the example, it's going to be more clear. But I also wanted to let you know how the saved links work in IDX Broker. These are like community pages that you can use um, to allow users to showcase specific listings that meet. Uh, that are from a specific area, property types, or price range, or any other uh, search criteria available in the advanced search uh, for your MLS. So I would like to show you an example. Let's go to the example. So for example, let's say that I have this uh, webhook, and I'm going to use this tag to assign a saved link to, the, uh, to an existing IDX broker lead. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, this lead that it's called Imelda Armstrong. And in this example, I'm, I'm using a polygon saved link. So in case I would like to assign the saved link or disabled search with the same search criteria of this saved link to Imelda, I would only need to trigger this workflow. And I have added here this tag, assign saved link, I, uh, assign saved link. So I'm going to refresh here the page so you can see that uh, she only has one saved search. And here I'm going to add this tag, assign, save it link. So this is what triggers the workflow. And once I refresh this page, I'm going to see here that Imelda has this new save it search with the same search criteria that was added in that save it link for the Miami Polygon. And if I click here, uh, View details well here. I can see all the results in a new window. I can see that Imelda is going to have this save it search and she's now going to receive notifications for this particular search. Um, 
So you can use this to assign a saved search to list that doesn't have one or are interested in a particular area. And this is very useful in case you want to use this uh, webhook endpoint. As I, told, as I told you, you can find this uh, these webhook endpoints on this page. You only need to click, for example, here, and you will see here uh, the URL that you need to use. And also if you click on these links, it's going to open a tutorial showing you how or the steps that you need to follow to create a custom workflow, or in case you want to like get these workflows um, into your high level account, you can add them by getting this snapshot. Mm -hmm. Well, this is related to the to IDX broker and these two new endpoints. I don't know if you have any comments or questions. I have a quick question about that, Maida. So if, for example, I have signups in Miami and I have signups in Tampa, can I assign the one to the Miami people and a different safe search to the Tampa people? Or are we assigning one safe search to everybody when that triggers? Mm, you can create different workflows mm -hmm. if you want to with these two different save at links so they have different search criteria or you could also create one workflow uh, but one workflow uh, and somewhere there are a condition that if they fill this survey or if I add this tag they are going to be assigned to this particular save at link and for the other for the Tampa search the other save at link but you would need to create two different saved links, one for each. Okay, thank you. Area. Mm -hmm. Could you okay. go back? Where where do we find the snapshot for that? Uh, the snapshot you would need to go if you are like here in IDX Adams, you only need okay. to type here snapshot. Okay. Uh, going to show this and you only need to click here on workflows and here you will get the link for the snapshot. Mm -hmm. um, is, is there a snapshot or workflow or something to automatically sign someone up for a market report? For a market report? No, not it doesn't exist. And I think we can add it right now because there's no way to assign a market report to a lead using IDX Broker API as far wow. as I know. <laughs> That's a bummer. Do you have any other question now? Um, Let me interject right there. There may be a workaround for that, Noel, where you could... <clears throat> Um, identify the market reports as like a custom value inside of high level. I mean, you could person could kind of build this out where you say um, custom value equals Tampa market report, and then the the URL of the of the market report. And you have another one that says you know the custom value is uh, Miami market report, and it shows the URL of it. And so then you could do the same thing because those URLs don't change. And then you could send those like once a month or every three months or whatever. And you could send the link to those market reports to those clients. Um, yeah, that's true. We could do it that way. Yeah. If you don't know, uh, we have a new agency dashboard and you can find it uh, if you go to this page. And the idea of this dashboard is that you can um, manage your IDX broker clients, also see the status of their MLS paperwork, um, order an IDX Connect. So it's going to have, this new dashboard has a cleaner user interface and it's going to, we're going to be adding more features in the future. 
But right now, I want to show you that we added an option to white label the lead connector dashboard. Uh, in this first version, it's going to remove the powered by Realty Candy uh, label that appears at the bottom. And you also have the option to add custom CSS code. Uh, the pricing is 199 per month. And we're also going to be adding more features. So how does it work? I'm going to show you a quick video of what we, you would need to do in order to buy this agency dashboard pro. So let me share. You can see the video, right? Yes. Okay. So the dashboard is going to look like this. And to buy the agency dashboard pro, first you need to connect to high level because this is uh, this is related to high level to this lead connector dashboard. So first you need to connect uh, at least one sub account. It can be your agency account or a, or a sub account. And once you have connected it, you need to click on the extra features. Here you are going to be able to generate the same code snippet that it's used to add the IDX button in the contacts page. And here you can select all the sub accounts or a custom list of sub accounts. You click on save the changes and it's going to generate this code snippet that you can add in your high level agency view. But what's new here you can add um, or buy this white label feature. In case you are interested, you only need to click here on buy dashboard pro and it's going to redirect you to a Stripe uh, checkout. You need to fill the information. And once you're done, it's going to verify the payment. And then it's going to redirect you. Well, it's going to show a success uh, message. Mm -hmm. And then you need to click on go to the settings. Now you can come back and you're going to see two new things. First is this custom CSS area where you can enter uh, custom CSS code. And I'm going to show you an example. And also this white label uh, option. The settings are going to be saved automatically. So um, I'm going to show you how it works with one of our sub accounts. So you can see how it works. So I open again. Uh, well, here I am in the agency dashboard, the new agency dashboard. And here in my account, I have, uh, I have the pro version enabled. So if I go back here to my sub account, First, I'm going to see that the power by Realty Candy was removed because I have enabled the white label feature. And also I'm seeing that I have like these colors. And that's because I added some custom CSS here that it's going to be applied uh, to the dashboard. In case, for example, I would like to change the background of the cards, I can go here and change the color. Let's say I would like to leave it in a gray color. And I only need to click here on save changes. If I reload the page, it's going to get uh, these new custom CSS uh, rules. <laughs> and this also happens in case you are using um, the IDX button, for example, this is my lead email there. And if I go here and click on the IDX button, it's also going to remove the power by Realty Candy, the label, and it's also going to apply the CSS style that I added here in the pro version of this dashboard.
And that's it. I don't know if you have any comments or questions. Yeah, I have a, a question, Maida. So what about people that are already using our free dashboard? Do they have to pay the $199 a month or is their stuff going to stop working or how's that going to work? Um, right now, they can continue using the old dashboard that we already have in case you want to, I mean, we encourage you to start using this new, this dashboard because we have uh, more features and we're going to be adding more features. And I mean, right now it's not going to stop working. The old version is not going to stop working, but in case you want to add this white label pro feature, you would need uh, to switch to this new dashboard. Okay. And, and our users that are currently using our high level dashboard inside of their high level account, that always is going to keep working. That The free one works great. So this is just for people that want custom code or they want to white label it or whatever, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Sure. If I can make another, or is that, do you have something else you want to share about that, Mitre, or can I make another comment about that? Yes, you can make any comment. <clears throat> so one of the things that I think is is exciting about this is it gives us some opportunities to add more and more features, which we're going to do on the free version and on the pro version. But what we're going to do on the pro version, we think, actually, we think 199 bucks a month is a lot of money. And so we're going to do a couple of different things that we help, we think will help offset the cost of this. The first one is that people that use our affiliate link to use high level will get credit that they can use to, to offset the cost of this. So basically whatever we're getting from high level, we'll give you credit for that towards your, uh, your, your monthly, you know, uh, payment of this pro feature. So that's one thing. Well, we have a bunch of clients that already have, they're already hooked up with high level and, uh, and they don't want to switch. And I understand that. So what we're going to do with those folks, too, is we're going to try to add a little bit more extra value in there. And this, this is for everybody that uses the pro version of the agency dashboard. The, the one-click websites are going to be half price for folks that use this. So if you're, if you're building websites for your clients, this is a great way to get a good deal on websites. We're also going to be adding in some things like our dynamic safe search there's going to be a, a discounted rate on that uh, for folks in here. And we're going to build in some additional automations and some other tools as time goes by. We just had a few people that have really been putting the screws to us because they want a white label version of that dashboard. And we've been working on this. It's taken us a little while to, to, to get this all built out, but we we're going to try to add a lot of value to this. Um, so that for 200 bucks a month, you're going to get some of these other features, these other pro features that we have, like dynamic safe searches for your clients and, um, you know, the one-click website pro, I'm sorry, the single property website pro, um, there'll be a discount or we'll give it for free or we'll do something on those uh, to, to kind of help offset the cost of this because we, we actually think it's quite a bit of money but we also think that our free version is pretty awesome and we have a lot of people using the free one and we're going to you know continue to add more features to that and make that better and better but some of these things now there's you know we're just putting a price on some of these things like the white label that's i was just going to mention that Maida. thank you But that would be all. I mean, this, okay. these are the updates that we currently have for IDX add-ons and for the agency dashboard. Okay, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Maya. That was very helpful. Mm -hmm.